Today's lesson is called Carly Klotz. More than just a pretty face. Hi everyone, my name is Jeff, and I am Roger. Today we're going to talk about a celebrity, or rather, maybe a supermodel who's more than just a supermodel, and maybe you've heard of her, Carly Kloss. That's who we're going to talk about today. There you go, and here we have this phrase: "More than just a pretty face." Carly Kloss is, in fact, a supermodel. Many people find her to be one of the most beautiful women on the face of the earth, but Carly Kloss is more than just a pretty face. Yes, she has a pretty face, but there is more to her than that. Okay, if you just wrote her off as being a pretty face, then that's that. You would be doing her a disservice because there's more to Carly Kloss than that. She has depth. As an individual, she has a lot going on under the surface. There, yes, you can use this phrase to talk about someone who might be good-looking, but to whom there's more than just that good-looking part. Yes, you might say a handsome guy is more than just a pretty face. Yes, he's handsome, but he's also smart. Or Carly Kloss here, sure. She has a pretty face, but she's more than just a pretty face. Carly Kloss, there's a whole lot more to her than that, and we'll learn all about that today and the day after today. Because yes, Carly Kloss is more than just a pretty face. Okay, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Carly Kloss, more than just a pretty face. It's not often that you see model and computer geek in the same sentence, but Carly Kloss is both. Twenty-six-year-old Kloss is shaping up to be a modern-day Renaissance woman. From an early age, she was good at math and science and enjoyed logical problem solving. She originally planned to attend college and major in medicine or science, but at the age of 13, she was discovered while modeling in a benefit fashion show, and her modeling career took off shortly after. Okay, so again, the subject of today's lesson is Carly Kloss. Carly, of course, is her first name. Kloss is her family name. So let's find out what makes her special. As a computer geek, as it says here in the first paragraph, it's not often that you see model and computer geek in the same sentence. But Carly Kloss is both. So yes, usually a model is just someone who's pretty, and because they're pretty, they can pose for pictures and get a lot of money. So there's really no need for them to be particularly smart. Especially, there's no need for them to be a computer geek. You can just get somebody else to do that stuff for you. But、uh, here, if you're really into computers and you like to play video games and you're always troubleshooting with various programs or operating systems and things like that, we could describe you as a computer geek. Yeah, usually computer geeks. We have a picture of them in our minds. They're shy. They might dress strangely. They might have interests that might be considered dorky. They might like to read Harry Potter and fantasy novels and stuff like that. But you don't really think of people like Carly Kloss as being computer geeks. After all, she's tall and beautiful and outgoing and stuff like that. You wouldn't think, hey, wait a minute. She's not a computer geek. No way. Everybody loves her. You'd never catch her reading a fantasy novel or anything like that. She's not a dork. She's not a computer geek. But apparently, she is. Yes, it's not often that you see model and computer geek in the same sentence. But Carly Kloss breaks the mold. Yes, twenty-six-year-old Kloss, Carly Kloss, is shaping up. To be a modern-day Renaissance woman. Now, earlier I said that she breaks the mold. Usually, when you use a mold, you use that thing to shape or to form something. And I said earlier that Carly Kloss breaks the mold. She's not a typical person. She is a model, but she doesn't have model-like 
attributes all the way down the line there. Sure, she has the beautiful face and the great bone structure, and she's thin and she's tall, but add to these things, add to these things on this list of attributes, things like computer geek, okay? So she doesn't really fit any type of mold in this particular situation. You expect her to be in a certain way. That would be the mold, okay? But she breaks the mold. She doesn't fit that mold. And there's more. It says here that she's shaping up to be a modern day Renaissance woman. Now here we've got this phrase, to shape up, okay? To shape up in this situation, to shape up to become something, let's say, that means you start to become that thing. You begin to take that certain form. So she breaks the mold, but who knows? She might be shaping up to make a new mold or to become a new type of person. Shape up, indeed. Sometimes that means to behave yourself. I、uh, remember when I was in、uh, school, my teachers would often say this to me: "Hey, Roger, you need to shape up. You need to behave and quit being such a wild man." That's just an example. I was actually a very well-behaved kid. I did not need to shape up at all. But in any case, here we're saying that she's kind of becoming a Modern-day Renaissance woman. Now, Renaissance, of course, refers to a period of European history in which there was a renewal in the arts and sciences and stuff like that. But here, if you say Renaissance woman or Renaissance man, you're referring to someone who has a lot of talents. So yes, she's not just a model, but she can do all sorts of stuff. I guess she can program computers. She can probably even run marathons or paint pictures or you name it. She can probably do it. She can do it all. Models used to be one-trick ponies—a pretty face, and that's that. But like I said before, Carly Kloss is more than just a pretty face. She breaks the mold, I should say, when it comes to modeling, or when it comes to models. She is a Renaissance woman. She can do it all. Get this: from an early age, she was good at math and science, and enjoyed logical problem solving. Oh, it sounds like she is a nerd. Sounds like a geek to me. She. Liked math and science from an early age, and in her spare time, apparently she enjoyed logical problem solving. Hey, if she liked reading fantasy novels, on top of these things, she would definitely be considered a nerd, or you could call her a geek. Anyways, there is more here. Okay, she is a model. But she originally planned to do something else with her life. That's right. She originally planned to attend college and major in medicine or science. But at the age of 13, she was discovered while modeling in a benefit fashion show, and her modeling career took off shortly after. So her original plan. Maybe in high school was to attend college to go to university, and while she was there, she was going to major in medicine or science. She was going to major. She was going to study as her main course of study medicine. She wanted to be a doctor, or maybe she wanted to be a scientist. But、uh, she was at a benefit fashion show, and she just happened to be modeling there when she was only 13 years old. And maybe some scouts were there in the audience, and they saw her walking down the catwalk at the age of 13, and they thought, "Hey, she's got potential to be a model." So she was discovered. They talked to her afterwards. They exchanged business cards and stuff like that. And the rest is history. Her modeling career took off shortly after that. To take off means something goes into the air. It begins. Your career can take off if you start to become successful, just like a plane can take off from a runway at an airport. Yeah, but we're not being literal here. Okay, she wasn't on the runway there, and then she didn't get into a plane on the runway, and then turn the plane on, and then take off. No, that, that that's not what happened here. If her career took off, it means that she became successful as a model quite quickly. She became successful overnight, you could say. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a break. But don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Before long, Kloss was modeling in ad campaigns for perfume, jewelry, makeup, and clothing lines, and posing for international Vogue magazine covers. 
By 2011, she had been selected to become a Victoria's Secret Angel, where her special style of walk, influenced by childhood ballet lessons, turned her into a runway favorite. She also keeps up a presence on social media and has appeared as a correspondent on the popular science program Bill Nye Saves the World. 大家好，第二部分我们看到的单词是 perfume， 它也可以念作 perfume。当名词时指的是香水。例如 ，Someone on the train was wearing so much perfume that I could hardly breathe. 火车上有人擦了太多香水，我几乎没办法呼吸了。而 perfume 也可以当做动词使用，指的是散发香气，使充满香气。举例来说 ，The smell of apples from the apple tree perfumed the room when the window was opened. 当窗户开启时，房间内充满着苹果树散发出来的苹果香味。接下来我们看到的单字是名词 makeup， 指的是化妆品或是组成、构成方式。例如。The models wore dramatic makeup that matched their outfits during the fashion show. 模特儿们在时装秀时画上夸张的妆容来搭配他们的服装。又或者说 ，the makeup of the team was changed when four of the players were replaced. 这个队伍的组成在那四位选手遭到替换时有所改变。另外 ，makeup 可以与其他名词连用，例如 makeup test 为补考。Makeup class 为补课。举例来说 ，If you can't attend the computer class today, there will be a makeup class next Friday. 如果你无法参加今天的电脑课程，下周五还会有一堂补课。再来看到的单词是 runway， 这个字是名词，表示伸展台或是机场跑道。像是 Linda was too nervous about her first runway show to fall asleep last night. Linda 对于她第一次的伸展台走秀感到非常紧张，导致昨晚无法入睡。也可以说 ，Our plane was stuck on the runway for nearly thirty minutes due to a thunderstorm. 因为大雷雨的缘故，我们的飞机在跑道上被困将近三十分钟。接着，我们看到的单字是名词 correspondent， 指的是特派员。例如。The television station needs many correspondents in different countries for international reports. 电视台在不同国家需要许多特派员来完成国际性的报道。而 correspondent 除了可以当名词外，也可以当做形容词使用，指符合的、一致的。所以可以说 Ken's opinion to this new policy is correspondent with mine. Ken 对于这项新政策的想法与我是相符合的。Okay, let's take a look at the next part of our lesson. We're talking about Carly Kloss, and where we left off, we found out that she started to become a model, even though she was planning to go to college and major in medicine or science. Now, before long, after her modeling career took off, Kloss was modeling in ad campaigns for perfume, jewelry, makeup. And clothing lines, and posing for international Vogue magazine covers. Ooh, that's the big one there. If you can be on the cover of Vogue, that means you are quite successful. You have made it. So before long, which means in a short period of time, she was modeling all over the place. She was in ad campaigns for various things: perfume, jewelry, makeup, etc. Here we've got the word campaign. That just refers to a series of events or activities that are designed to achieve a certain goal, to achieve a certain purpose. You could have military campaigns if an army is trying to invade another country or something. Of course, there were many military campaigns in World War II, but this is an Advertising campaign, a series of advertisements, you know, in newspapers or on TV or on the internet, that want to sell various products, such as perfume, which is、uh, some kind of a liquid that you put on your body to make yourself smell nice. If you're a lady, perfume.、Uh, sometimes people say perfume. Both pronunciations are okay. 
There you go. Now back to the word campaign. Roger, mm-hmm. you forgot to mention political campaigns. You could say the president really wants to win his re-election campaign. He wants to be elected again. So he's putting together his re-election campaign. He's going to hire people to work for them, and they're going to do stuff to make sure that he gets re-elected. Yes, here a campaign is an organized series of things that someone engages in to do something or to accomplish something. Here, yes, Kloss, Carly Kloss, she was modeling an ad campaign. Like Roger said, she was doing these things or she was helping to do these things to make sure that something got sold or to generate publicity for a product like perfume or jewelry or makeup or clothing or anything like that. So she was generating publicity or she was trying to help people to sell these things by lending her image to these people. Yes, take my picture. It's pretty. With my picture, you can sell tons of stuff. Anyways, we're not done here. And Nora's Carly Kloss, get this, by 2011, she had been selected to become a Victoria's Secret Angel, where her special style of walk, influenced by childhood ballet lessons, turned her into a runway favorite. So apparently, she has a way about her when she is strutting her stuff on the runway. She's got quite the walk there. And it says here that this walk was influenced by childhood ballet lessons. Now, ballet, B-A-L-L-E-T, it's not ballet. Although the adjective is balletic, and you do pronounce the T there. But here the word is ballet. It's a noun. What is ballet? Ballet is fancy dancing that often accompanies classical music or opera or something like that. Now, one note. Ballet dancers move gracefully. They're light on their feet. So maybe this is why Carly Kloss's walk is so beloved. She's very graceful and she walks lightly. Yeah, ballet dancers tend to stand on their toes. So of course they can dance quite gracefully when dancing to the music of Tchaikovsky like Swan Lake or the Nutcracker or things like that. So yes, uh, because she had taken those ballet lessons, she was influenced by those ballet lessons. So that turned her into a runway favorite. Runway, of course, is where models go. They usually go up and down this runway. Sometimes it's called a catwalk. Same thing. So lots of people liked her, and they wanted to hire her as a model. She also keeps up a presence on social media and has appeared as a correspondent on the popular science program. Bill Nye saves the world. Bill Nye, the science guy, if you know who we're talking about. So she keeps up a presence on social media. She maintains a presence there. She posts every day. She responds to other people's comments, etc., etc. She's always there, making posts and making comments. All right, folks. With that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. When we come back, we'll be wrapping up part one of our article on Carly Kloss. On a personal level, Kloss treasures her relationships with other women, holding sisterhood in high regard. She says that there's something powerful about strong women supporting one another, and hopes to inspire future generations of women. 第三部分，我们看到名词 sisterhood 有姐妹情谊的意思，像是。It is sisterhood that Kate stands up for her sister without second thought when someone takes advantage of her. 是姐妹之情让 Kate 在有人占她妹妹便宜时，二话不说挺身而出。今天的最后一个单词是 inspire， 这个动词表示鼓舞、启发。举例来说 ，The teacher's encouraging words inspired Mike to study harder. 老师鼓励的话语鼓舞 Mike 更认真学习。而 inspire 的名词为 inspiration, I N S P I R A T I O N， 指灵感、启发。可以说 Martin got a lot of inspirations to his future after attending the speech. Martin 在听完这场演讲后，对自己的未来有很多的启发。
Okay, let's、uh, wrap up today's lesson by talking about the final paragraph here. It says, on a personal level, Claus treasures her relationships with other women, holding sisterhood in high regard. So, on a personal level, if we're talking about her personal life. And not her business life. Well, she actually loves her relationships with other women. She's close friends with a lot of other women, and she holds sisterhood in high regard. She considers that to be very important. Women should get along with each other, and they should support each other as much as they can. Yes, she has a high opinion of sisterhood, or she admires or respects her sisters. Now. Moving on, the next sentence says she says that there's something powerful about strong women supporting one another, and hopes to inspire future generations of women. Now, before we take a break here, let's talk about the word generation. When we're talking about the generations, we're talking about groups of people who are born at around the same time. Now. Let's be very clear here, okay? Parents and their children do not belong to the same generation. So, even though, sure, your mom was only 20 years older than you were when she gave birth to you, that does not mean that you are a part of the same generation. You were born at around the same period of time, but there's a definite generational break there. Yes, parents and children do not belong to the same generation. That's Where you draw the line in most cases. All right, folks. With that, it is time for us to take a break. But don't go away. The Chinese teacher is waiting in the wings. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. 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 She also keeps up a presence on social media and has appeared as a correspondent on the popular science program Bill Nye Saves the World. 她也在社群媒体上维持能见度，并且在受欢迎的科学节目《比尔奈拯救世界》中来现身担任特派员。好，那我们句子里面的 presence 在这边是指能见度。它前面这个片语动词 keep up 有持续啊、维持的意思。Keep up a presence 就表示持续在媒体上曝光。那这边要顺便帮同学们补充 keep up 的其他用法，还有相关片语。好 ，keep up 可以用来表达赶上啊，或者是跟上脚步，或者是跟什么的速度或步调一致。Keep up with somebody 就可以用来表达跟某人并驾齐驱，赶上某人。举例来说。Ron couldn't keep up with the rest of the class. 就表示 Ron 跟不上班上的其他同学。好，另外 keep up with somebody 还可以表达跟某人保持联系。那这时候它的语义就跟 keep in touch with somebody 是一样的。顺便补充两个片语 ：keep one's chin up。好，字面上的意思呢是抬起某人的下巴。当人感到沮丧、灰心的时候，就容易低着头，收起下巴，一副垂头丧气的样子。那这个片语就是用来鼓励别人要打起精神，不要气馁。所以下次你身边的朋友遇到挫折的时候，你可以对他说 ：“Keep your chin up”， 就表示别灰心，打起精神来。好，另外一个片语叫做 keep up appearances。这字面上的意思是维持表面，那其实就类似中文的做表面功夫啊、撑场面啊、打肿脸充胖子等等的。那么 appearances 在这边固定要用复数型。举例来说 ，She spent almost all of her money on fancy clothes so as to keep up appearances. 他为了要撑场面，几乎把所有的钱都花在昂贵的衣服上了。好，另外课文这个句子有一个补充单字叫 correspondent， 它表示特派员。那它的动词就是去掉字尾的 e n t， 变成 correspond， 它有通信啊，或者是一致、和谐的意思。那这边我们来学习它的字首字根。同学们应该都有发现 ，correspond 这个字里面含有 respond。好，那么 R E 表示回复，后面的 spond s p o n d 这部分这字根它有应允啊、答复或是承诺、保证的意思。那么 respond 表示回应、回答或是应答。当我们在后面加上字根 e n t， 就表示执行者。
Respondent 就可以用来表达应答者或是应答的人。好，那么至于字首 C O R 这部分呢，它是来自 C O M 表示一起。C O M 这部分因为放在 R 的前面，所以才改成拼作 C O R。同学们就可以试着联想啦。当我们在看新闻的时候，有时候会有外地的新闻画面是由特派员带来第一手的消息，那么他们会跟这主播一起互相应答，一起互动，让观众。知道当地的最新情况，所以你去想想看，一起互相回应回答 ，correspondent 就可以联想到特派员的意思。好，那么以上是今天重点整理，我们回顾今天单词吧。Campaign. There is a growing campaign against using super thin models in advertisements. Perfume. This perfume is very popular because of its light fruity scent. Makeup. Stage makeup must be heavily applied so the audience can see it from far away. Ballet. The famous ballet Swan Lake was composed by Tchaikovsky in 1875. Inspire. Stories of ordinary people who achieve great things always inspire Clara. Generation. Attitudes tend to vary between members of different generations. 好了，那